Welcome back to the Sellrite Workbench. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this change of plans. Let's fix that problem. If you're like me, you probably have loose rolls of leather laying around your shop, and you might even have a big box of scraps you have no idea what to do with. So today, let's solve both of those problems. This is a hook and loop leather strap that's going to do a good job of keeping your leather neatly rolled and keep your shop organized. The materials you'll need for this project are some scrap leather. I'd recommend three to four or four to five ounce leather, one inch rectangle rings, and some self-adhesive hook and loop. The first step of the project is to grab your piece of scrap and you need to make sure it's long enough for the straps we're gonna make. I'm making mine for a four to five ounce side of leather and I'm gonna need about 27 inches. If you're doing a smaller panel or maybe a two to three ounce side, I would knock about four inches off or vice versa. If you're doing a larger side, add about four inches. Now I'll use the strap cutter to cut out a one inch strap. Then after this, I'll cut it to the correct length. Trim that to 27 inches. Next up, I'm gonna round out the top of the strap. To do this, I'll use my utility knife and just make small cuts all the way around. And now that I've got the shape and the overall length that I want, I'm gonna darken it up just a little bit using Neat's Foot Oil and some Leather Balm. And I'm almost ready to install the hook and loop and put this thing together. But before I do that, I'm actually gonna finish the edges. And you might think that's overkill for this sort of project, but I'll probably be using these in the shop for years. So I wanna make sure they look great. And if you want to know more about finishing edges, please check out the dedicated videos we have in the description below. And now that everything's burnished, the next step is to take our one inch rectangle ring and put that on the end. And I'm gonna fold it over by about one inch and hold it into place with glue, or you could use basting tape whatever you got laying around. So now I'll cut one foot of loop and six inches of hook. Now I'll adhere the loop side to the part with the rectangle, carefully place it and making sure we're covering up that seam right there and the six inch piece on the opposite end. The last step is to sew everything together and we could do this on the leatherwork or the fabricator. I'm gonna do it on the fabricator because it's got brown thread on it and I think the brown will hide nicely on the back side of the hook and loop. Uh, if we used white or something, it would show through, but I think it'll look nice with the brown. So let's go do that. Now I'll use this Sellrite wing divider to mark a guideline for me to sew over. And that's it. These make for a super quick project, pretty easy to do. And if you wanted to take the organization up a notch, you could even label these. Like for the staples that I keep in my shop all the time, like a natural four to five ounce veg tan like this, I might stamp the front just so that this strap can live with this roll of leather. And I'll always know what weight I'm grabbing off the shelf. And that's all for this project. So make sure you like and subscribe to this channel if you wanna see more content like this. And I'll see you in the next one.